here is the third and final podcast of the week. We're going to listen to Alan Subasic talk about a game he's been playing, a, I believe, free-to-play game with microtransactions, uh, microtransactions correct? Microtransactions, yes. if you will. <laughs> and, oh boy, oh boy, when are those games ever not fun? Well, uh, this week we're talking about The Hunter. I guess um, Ryan didn't really describe the game at all besides the fact that it has microtransactions, but the fact that... Uh, well, it's not my job to... I know, I know. I, I, <laughs> in fact, that's actually a big part of what I'm going to talk about. Um, I, it's a free-to-play game, and I was itching to, you know, go kill some animals in their natural habitat, you know, just rip away their life energy at their happiest moments. It's what I enjoy doing. What? Uh, no, I just... I, I was, I was, I, I've been on this hunting kick, and I decided to look for a hunting game. Ah, uh. And on Steam, there's a bunch of them, you know, Cabela's, this and that, and I never really heard any good things about that those, those games. So I went with this free-to-play game released this year. It's called The Hunter with no spaces and no caps in The, but Hunter, I think, is fully capitalized or something. I don't know. But it's essentially just this game, bare bones, really. You, you spawn in a lodge or a cabin, and you have a gun, and you walk, and you have, like, a hunter mate. I'll get into that later. That's part of the, a big part of the game. But pretty much your your goal is to go kill an animal. There's no, like, crafting mechanic. There's nothing about that. It's just straight-up scores. So you, try, you compete for the leaderboards to see how, you know, your your kills um, compare to each other. And uh, there's, like, a huge variety of, huge variety of um, different animals to hunt in different locales. Not a huge variety of different locales. It's mostly kind of like the... Um, Boreal Forest, kind of Canadian wildlife, British Columbia style. Um, so you've got mountains, you've got an island, and it's mostly all just um, forest, basically. So you get, you're going to be hunting deer, a couple bears, and then wild pigs, some birds, stuff like that. And the foxes and coyotes, I don't think you get to hunt wolves or anything crazy. but uh, So then you get a bunch of different ammo. It's kind of standard fare and a bunch of different weapons. The thing about the game is it's first free to play, and I mean you can't really hold that against them for making it free to play. Like it's just it's just a to me it was um, a way of getting people interested in the game, just giving them a, a brief um, kind of taste of it. It's almost like a demo where you get the full game. Uh, problems I I ran into. Well, first of all, to get the gameplay out of the way, like it's a really fun game. Like the environment is beautiful. It's super immersive. Tracking an animal is like I'm. I don't know. For me, it was like really fun to track an animal and 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 actually end up seeing it and spotting it. I was I was so uh, motivated to do that. And the game doesn't really do much. It's, it's it's kind of minimalistic. Like there's a a minimal HUD, and you basically are the only things you'll see is um, red kind of highlights where there are tracks. So you don't have to like stare at the ground every five seconds or whatever to see if there's tracks. It'll tell you where the tracks are, and then you have to make sense of the tracks okay. to, to, to um, progress that way for hunting the animal. And you mainly use a tracker mate. It's like a computer thing that will mark on your map like the direction the animal's heading or the time or your proximity to it based on like the freshness of its shit and stuff like that. So you have this, like, magic computer that doesn't really exist that you use. And you can this play... This sounds pretty deep for a free-to-play game, honestly. It is. It's it's very deep, actually. and um, But also very focused. Like, you're, you're just killing the animal. There's nothing else to do. Like, you're just hunting. There's there's no, you know, like... There's a couple mini-games you can play, like, Breakout on the Hunter Mate. It's like a cell phone, like, mini-game, which I, I wondered... If you like, you were in a multiplayer session with like four other hunters. If you just randomly like scared off a, a kill by playing Breakout or something, that'd be funny. But I, I don't really see the point of playing Breakout in another game. <laughs> uh, and I don't, I don't see when you, why you'd be killing time. Maybe if you're in like a perch or something, you're just waiting for a deer to walk by. But usually, I just actively track them. Uh, <laughs> you you want to be more observant, I think, than staring at your phone or whatever during your hunt. But uh, no, the game, the game is really fun, and I had a lot of fun with it. Like just getting the, your first kill is so satisfying, and then getting like a a, a, a kind of a high scoring kill is also very satisfying. Because most of the time, I would be targeting female animals, which are not scored for you know for whatever reason. Like they're just they're not um, 
on the leaderboards. Mm-hmm. So I, did, I always just ended up finding fucking female deer, and I always ended up killing them because I wanted to shoot something, but it wasn't. It didn't actually get me on the leaderboards at, at all. So you have to be selective, I guess. But you well, can't. I ended up just killing. I didn't know what a female fox looked like. I shot it anyway. I shot a female reindeer because they have antlers still for some reason. It's it's. I shot a lot of female animals. That just seemed to be the narrative that my hunter <laughs> had going for him. <laughs> well, I gotta ask. I am curious. Uh, what was the hardest um, hunt for you? I, I was trying to find a pig for a long time, and I was. It was squealing like it like it wanted me to follow it. It was just. It was like. Over each hill, I would hear it go, ah, ah, and then it was like, <laughs> I'd crest the hill, I'd be like, where are you, you fat fuck, and he'd just be gone. <laughs> and so, me and my friend that was playing with me, we nicknamed that pig Ninja Pig. Like, he was just this fucking stealth master that was taunting us. And then when I gave up the trail, I would go after another trail, and then I'd hear that pig, like, almost as if it was, like, distracting me from killing this other animal. <laughs> like, it was, like, following me or something. I just could never fucking get it. But then when I did manage to kill a pig, it was, like, super satisfying because of it. I actually got, like, a male pig with, like, tusks, and you measure the tusks. It was, like, it's like a 500-pound pig. It was incredible. But uh, I don't know. The, like, there's a lot of challenge to it. That's that's the part That's part of the fun. That's that's the main aspect of the game. It's, like, catching these wily animals. They're very fast, and you have to go slow to not alert them. So, like, you're, you're always kind of catching up, and you – Eventually, you'll have to make, like, a long-range shot. That's always precarious. You know, it comes down to the, the last second, like, will I make the shot or, or will I just scare it off or wound it? Not lethally. And it, it's very it's very addictive, actually, in that respect. Hmm. The main the main problem, I've been sucking this, dick, this game's dick, but, like, the main problem is the transactions, microtransactions. You cannot – they give you false hope, in a sense. Like, there's these missions that you can do that, as a free-to-play player, that allow you to buy – only ammo for a ludicrous price and you have to do like all these crazy missions and you're restricted because you don't have the proper ammo to like or um, the licenses for the animals actually when you are a free to play player you can kill two animals a a, a um, mule deer which are you know mixed in with roe deer, black tailed deer, white tailed deer like you could see a deer and go to shoot it and what happens is the game will just take control away from you and say, no, you do not have this license. And after tracking an animal for an hour only to find out that it wasn't a fucking mule deer and it just gets to stare at you and you can't shoot it, you, you are unable to shoot it, you can pull the trigger near it and scare it off, but you cannot make the kill, it's very, it was frustrating for me because, yeah, you track for an hour and you go up to it and it's like, that's not a mule deer. You have to know that mule deer have higher, bigger ears or whatever. It was kind of it, it was kind of annoying in that respect, and then so it's it's obviously they want to make money, so they're directing you to to buy these licenses. But two two animals, the second one being a, a rabbit, cottontail rabbit, you don't have the proper anu- ammunition or a gun suited to killing these rabbits. You can shoot them, but they will never be scored because you don't have the uh, proper weapon to, to hunt them with an air gun. So it's kind of pointless that they give you that option. It's mm-hmm. like, yes, you can hunt this rabbit, but you can't get scored on it. Hmm. It sounds kind of bullshit because you're hunting these things for hours, pretty much, and then to find out you can't freak, either you got the wrong one or you can't hunt it. It sounds like a as, waste of time. As, as a as a free to play player, yes. But once I got. I decided to buy a membership, and there was this package. This is another annoying part. First of all, so they have these missions. I found them. It's like, cool, let me do these missions. You can only buy one gun and ammo. So it's kind of pointless to do the missions. Plus, you're restricted by completing the missions. Like, you can't hunt a black bear with a fucking uh, small deer gun. It's not going to work. You know, and they don't give you that option. Those are missions available to free players, like, Go hunt a bear, but you can't with what they give you. So you can't even make, you can't even get the fake currency that doesn't allow you, which itself doesn't allow you to buy anything besides one other gun. So it's, I mean, you can use the shotgun for hunting bears. So I guess it is kind of, you can get some mileage out of the free to play, but it's very limited, and it's kind of tricky. It's like trickery, right? Like you hunt, the, you hunt the animal, you can't shoot it. 
you have you have the ability to shoot a rabbit, you don't have the proper gun. It's you have these missions available to you, but you don't have the proper equipment for it. So it seems like every other chance they're like, oh, you have this, but you don't have this, so you can't do this, or yeah, whatever. And, then, and it just seems to keep fucking with you. It, it was for a long time, and then I bought the membership, and there's this exclusive package, right? It comes with two guns, a shotgun and a revolver. I buy that one, and I can't use the shotgun, my rifle, and my revolver without a holster. And guess what? You can only buy the holster with real money. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, here, you get this thing. And it's like, oh, you can't use it. <laughs> oh, well, then why did you offer it? Why did you advertise it like I'd be able to? I mean, you can replace the rifle for the revolver, but that's just not a good idea. So <laughs> it's, 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 it was always tricking me, which just got annoying. But once I did get all the licenses, I wasn't like this omnipotent, like, warden fucking, or, or, or game warden, like, <laughs> like, taking my hand off the gun. Like, nope. You can't shoot that. You can't shoot that pig. <laughs> Once that was gone, I had a lot of fun with the game. And I mean, if you want to do some hunting, it's 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 a very it's a very relaxing experience and exciting too. It's it's, it's subtle. It's not like you know Call of Duty where you're overstimulated. There's like 30 different targets on the screen shooting back at you. Explosions going off. The guys on the radio talking in your ear. You enemy UAV explosion flam blam blam. They got the flag. We got the flag. They got the flag. Enemy UAV. Our UAV is up. It's like you go, you spawn, and it's tranquil. All you hear, there's no music. All you hear is the fucking birds, the wildlife, and you just go for a walk. And it's it's a really relaxing game, and exciting, supremely exciting. When you actually kill something like a big male, it's just. It's so it crazy. sounds like if you don't, if you just want a couple of hours to relax, not really do anything complicated or crazy, o- overly stimulating. Or, I would yeah, say. thank you. Overly there is, stimulating. There is this would be an all right game. This would be good. Yeah, as long as you know, you, I would say buy the. Uh, there's a three month membership for ten bucks, which is not bad. I mean, if you want to keep playing the game, you can opt for a more expensive one. But I mean, like I figure I'd be done in three months. Don't go for the the stupid um, pack I got with the revolver that's kind of pointless. Like, save up, do some missions, save up for the shotgun that you can get for free, and you can actually hunt most of the game with slug rounds, which are, I believe you have infinite amount. Um, so, or, I don't know if free players have to, have to buy their own ammo, but, like, you can get a lot out of the free version, but it's just, well, no, actually, because you won't get the licenses. I keep see it keeps tri- it's still tricking me like all the technicalities and stuff like the proper ammo the proper gun the proper license it's 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 annoying so if you do want to try this out I would definitely recommend you buy a membership which comes with all the licenses uh, and then, how much is that membership exactly like like I said bucks it's or? ten bucks for three months so oh, it's not that bad oh that's not bad that's actually pretty fair yeah and you know, there's other there's other packs like the one I got I mean. It's not worth it. Ultimately, five extra dollars for these two guns. I guess I get to keep them forever. I don't know. Maybe, if you want. But, yeah, you, you can get a lot out of this game for just ten bucks. And it's, it's, it's a really well, well-made game. Actually, what I saw that made me laugh is there's a expansion pack coming out. And guess what? What? They actually have, like, full-blown worlds. Like, full-blown, like, to-scale wilderness. So it's really interesting. The next expansion is Dinosaurs. Hmm. <laughs> They're gonna make Are you, you serious. Hunt, hunt dinosaurs, the hunter <laughs> primal, and it's not just like the same thing where you go out and there's a velociraptor outside your cabin. It's actually a survival game where you pick up gear out like on the map, whereas previously you just load out from your cabin like in real life. You don't find a gun in a chest somewhere in the woods, you know. <laughs> this game is more of a survival game where there's like PvP. There's these dinosaurs. You got to fight the T Rex at the end of the game. You find. <laughs> There's an equipment on the map. It sounds really fun, so I might be interested in getting this, that. This honestly does sound interesting. So, But, yeah, I'm not reviewing that today. I mean, today is just a base game. And, I mean, if you're going to play it free to, free, if you're gonna play, it free to play, it's like a three out of five. Like, you're going to have some fun just getting in there. But your limited locales and everything else limited, it's kind of annoying. If you pay ten bucks for three months, that's, it's, a, it's a four out of five. It's, I'm, like, having a lot of fun. I didn't think I would have so much fun with a hunting game. It's my first hunting game ever. <laughs> 
besides fishing. I don't know if you can count that. But uh, the experience is just, it's emulated very well, very realistically, and it's, it's very, very fun. Something primal about it, right? Hmm. Okay. All right. So four out of five. That actually sounds pretty good. Okay. So I guess that's it. That's it. Well, mm-hmm. I'm, if, if you excuse me, I'm going to go back to killing all of God's innocent creatures. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, everyone, for listening to these and for actually taking part in this. Especially Ninja Pig. Fuck Ninja Pig. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. <laughs>